At eViews, we understand that different software packages and languages have different strengths and weaknesses, and as such, researchers are often best served by using a variety of packages during their workflow. Consequently, we try to make it as easy as possible to use eViews alongside alternative packages. We have had tight integration with both the MATLAB and R programming languages for a number of versions. eViews 11 broadens this cross-package interoperability by introducing integration with the Python programming language. We will demonstrate the use of Python from within eViews by estimating a generalized autoregressive score gas, model using the PyFlux Python package. To begin, we create an eViews work file and use FRED to download some monthly unemployment data. For comparison purposes, we will estimate a simple Garch model in eViews on these data. We click on Quick, Estimate Equation, and change the estimation type to Garch. We then fill in the name of our unemployment series, Unimp. Clicking OK produces the equation output. We can then click on Proc, Make Garch Variant Series, to produce the path of the volatility. We'll give the series the name EV Garch. To compare this path with the results of a gas model, we will open a connection to Python. We have already installed Python, 3.6 in our case, on our machine, as well as a number of required packages for running PyFlux. Once Python is installed, EVs will pick up the installation and should be able to connect automatically. We open the connection by issuing the xopenp command. This brings up the Python console. We can issue commands to Python by typing directly in the console. We'll instruct Python to import some packages. To send data from eViews to Python, we use the xput command inside eViews. We'll send over our unemployment data as a pandas data frame. Now that the data are in Python, we can use PyFlux in Python to estimate a gas model. We're using a Gaussian distribution with a single AR term, which should allow us to replicate a Garch model. Although the gas parameters do not coincide with a Garch model, we can generate the conditional variance path of the gas model by retrieving the parameters back into eViews and using them to generate a series. We retrieve the estimated parameters back to eViews using the xget command. Next, we'll create an eView series and initialize it to zero. Since the volatility is recursive, we set the sample to the second period onwards. And then we can generate our volatility using the coefficients we retrieved from Python. Finally, we can open up the gas series alongside the one produced by the eviews garch equation and plot them together to see how they differ. we can see they hardly differ at all.